family member of one of the five Marines killed in that helicopter crash last week near Pine Valley is now raising concerns about the mission itself. Our Jason Slaw spoke with the uncle of one of those Marines and joins us live from MCAS Miramar with his criticism. Jason. Well, those Marines were based here at Miramar and their loved ones now not only want answers about what happened to the helicopter that crashed, but why the decision was made to fly in such poor conditions. And it's a terrible tragedy for uh, for all of these families. Bradford Moulton is the uncle of Captain Benjamin Moulton, one of five Marines killed last week when the helicopter they were flying from Nevada to MCAS Miramar crashed in Pine Valley during a storm. He was just a good good kid um, and it's just a tragedy that that he's gone over a stupid mistake. Moulton says he can't understand why the go ahead was given for takeoff. They shouldn't have been off the ground. It was a training mission. They could have waited four or five hours till the storm passed and then go. This was a highly volatile storm. They had hurricane force winds. Um, these helicopters they were flying, they don't have defrosters on the windshields. If their rotors ice up, they're going down. Uh, they were flying at an altitude of <clears throat> 5,400 feet, which is right where the snow and the rain mixes. And when ice accumulates on rotor blades, it disrupts their ability to create lift for the helicopter. That could be uh, you know, an issue that they were dealing with at the time. Attorney Timothy Laranger is a Marine vet with experience as a pilot and aircraft mechanic. He says investigators will closely look at whether the Marines on board had other problems with the helicopter. It could have been any number of other mechanical issues that they that came up at a very bad time when they were flying in, in challenging conditions that take a lot of uh, pilot resources and attention. And if they experienced another mechanical issue or a mechanical issue, uh, they would be uh, hard pressed to deal with both things. And that may have led to this. Meanwhile, the families of those Marines wait for answers as they honor their loved ones. He was going to be a Marine if it killed him. Well, he made it to Marine and they killed him. That's all we can say. And we can now confirm that the remains of those Marines were transferred today to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, where families will attend a private ceremony. Live at MTAS Miramar, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.